What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lama C here, and today we're going to be talking about gambling, specifically gambling gold daggers. So this will give you a little bit more of an introduction or an idea of how gambling works, why we're looking into gambling for this item specifically, all of that stuff, right? So the first thing that we will talk about right here is why are we gambling gold dagger? Well, with the addition of Diablo 2 Resurrected came the change in gambling, where one, there's a refresh button, so you can just spam that real fast, and two, when you gamble an item, the item still remains in the shop. This means that instead of like old Diablo 2 in Legacy, where you would buy a dagger, the dagger would leave the shop, and then you'd have to X out, and then refresh, re click on him again, click gamble, open the screen up again, see if there's another dagger, do that over and over again, which takes a long time. Now you can just bam, 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 spam, buy it, all of that stuff, right? So that just makes that super easy and uh, super nice. So gambling actually is definitely improved in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So when we look at that, we say, okay, what are some items that maybe we'd want to gamble? Some things that could be nice and simple. And obviously you can look at some like big, you know, late game items like Griffins or something, but that's going to be very expensive and still very difficult and all of that. Um, you still have to get the... Uh, you know, diadem, which means you have to get the item rolled up into the diadem and all of the money costs for all of that, you know, and all that, right? So there's there's a lot of items that are going to be like that where they're possible to gamble, maybe a little bit better chances, but still very expensive and still very difficult. But if you look at some of these early items, you actually get into some of the fun stuff, which is, hey, wait a second, these aren't that expensive to gamble and the chances are actually not bad. So maybe we should try gambling for it. So like I say, let's jump in right here and I will share a little knowledge over here of kind of some stuff, how stuff works, and we can go like that. So the first thing that you have to remember is this right here. When you're gambling, the eye level is the character level plus four or minus five. So basically, you need to find the item level of whatever item you're trying to gamble and you want to go five above that okay because then this means that let's say it's item level 20 this means if i am level 25 every item i gamble will be at least level 20 which means i can get that item because if it was item level 20 and i gambled at level 20 half the time I would not be able to get that item, right? Because I would find an item that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I can't, I can't, that physically can't be whatever item I'm going for. So if we take a look over here, you can see here is Gold Dagger, and it is item level six, right? Simple enough. It's a treasure class three, TC3 item, but it is item level six and you might say oh why don't you just go kill you know normal mephisto and andario and things like that to try and get these items and it's like well you can do that but honestly gambling i think will actually be even faster um because you just get some gold off of some other character and then you can go gamble it so with item level six this means we need plus five from that so we need a character level 11 to gamble or higher now i could gamble for this gold dagger with a level 80 or 90 or something but the thing is every time that you level up the cost of items gambled except for rings and amulets goes up as well so if you're gambling with level 11 12 13 14, right it's going to be a lot cheaper than if you're gambling with level 80. every one of those daggers is going to be way more expensive additionally you have the chance of the item to upgrade to exceptional and elite and all of that um and so that can be annoying so Right here, we want a level 11, and I have an accidental a level 12. I was trying to get him to 11, and then I just wasn't paying attention. So we have a level 12, um, and so you can just grab your gold from your share accounts and move it on in for this character. Good day. And I've got more gold elsewhere if needed. But we can go ahead and start with this right here. 
So first, I guess let's just make some space for some daggers. I'll go ahead and put some runes away. Perfect. And now, you can just go over here and just start gambling daggers. And again, first you have this refresh, which is nice. Oops, I just passed it. But additionally, once you find one, I'm, I've skipped like five daggers, so just ignore all that. <laughs> once you find one, when you buy it, it's right here, right? You don't have to worry about it going away, so you can literally just sit here and just mass buy daggers. And then you can just go look through really fast. And go for round two. Now, a lot of people um, have found that it takes uh, around a million gold, I believe, is the general idea. Because you have a 1 in 2,000 chance of an item being unique. 1 in 1,000 chance of it being set. One in ten chance of it being rare. So, hope we get lucky. But once again, you can see how if I had to search for every single one of these daggers individually, this would be an absolute nightmare, right? Yeah, I wonder if it's faster on... It is, actually. Old, old uh, graphics. Double click. Are tend to just always be faster in shops. Yeah, it's kind of funny how the inventory fills up differently at every spot. It goes top, bottom, 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 top, top, bottom, bottom. Weird. I've always been kind of curious about inventory stuff because sometimes it gets super screwy. And like I said, we have more gold over on another character. Algorithm prefers uh, squares. Buy 20 daggers, resell, and get two free. Exactly. Oh, there you go. All right. And just like that, we got ourselves gold dagger. And that only cost us, what, 300,000 gold or so? So we, we definitely got it a little bit faster than normal. But I mean, this is what I'm saying. Even if it takes you a million gold, a million five, whatever it is, that's so fast. <laughs> it is so insanely fast um, how quickly you can now gamble these items right here, right? And again, it's one of those... You can just open it up and you can look around and say, hmm, I really want a Nell Striker. And you're like, okay, well, I just go to level 12 and then I gamble for those, right? I mean, I, I guess you can't gamble scepters, but if you could, right? Uh, let's find a different item. Blink Bat's form, right? Gray form, Lenemo, all of those you could totally go gamble for right there. Rixot's Keen. Torch of Iris. So a lot of these low ones definitely 
Um, definitely, definitely can can be snagged right there. And I was actually looking at Tarnhelm. I mean, that'll be a little expensive because you have to be level 25, so it'll cost a little bit more, but still. A few million gold, you can get a lot of these. A lot of these items. So if there's any of these low, low level ones that you really want, Good day. Maybe, maybe look at gambling. But, Gold Dagger is my favorite for it because, well, that's just such a useful item for magic finding, right? I'm just going to put this on my sorceress's offhand and then swap to it before boss kills and get another 100 MF. Super easy, super nice. So, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that this helped. I hope you learned some stuff. And, uh, good luck. Good luck in getting your goals. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace, YouTube.